Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. अभी तेन दिखा रहा था इधर है अभी ट्रेन इधर है आई थिंक आई नीड टू मीट आयरिश Or let's do this Marshall Johnson. I don't have a clue. All right, we're just gonna be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, I... nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarland! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get down from there. You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Old government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is a land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. How you doing? Anything happen to us, sir? Let's go. Come on, let's ride hard to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. 
Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not lay a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed? Lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. They gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. Not just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williams is the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? and an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Burn ahead! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. You think you're a man, do you? Yeah! Exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. Come on. Let's get going. All right. I'm moving. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a four to play with. Hey, Kong, start walking. I'm walking, goddammit! Oh. What? You are target? Arst, lead Deke into town. Make sure oh, you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. bitch. Don't make me put a hole in you. Move! You get yours, you son of a bitch! I'm only a coward works for the law. All right, I'm moving! I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. You, you are just wait. Move. So I'm walking, goddammit. Get these ropes off me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh, my God. Where's the law? Get oh, the boys. Get it covered. Kill every 
last one of them! Okay, a thousand dollars now. <clears throat> Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. मारा बहुत कम है इसका लाश ही गायब हो गया है first Having that? That's a new flower, I think.
get him back, dead or alive, while the gate's open. Come! Now be quiet! Get away from me! Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Yeah, what a fella to give up easily, are you? और ही जगह ले जाता है Somewhere stuck between air and Madeline. Well, 
You're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Reach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrew. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spicy bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Stop, damn it! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Open fire! You know you're gonna die, right? Are Yeah. 
घर में कुछ नहीं है अच्छा इसके अंदर तो क्लोज रेस
killing everyone and just make the job easier. I don't know where I am going to use this gun. This gun shield really looks pretty. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! on the way. Inside the mine or something. Shit. ऐसा मत करना मेरी तरह बट आई फाउंड दिस द ओनली वे मे बी देर आर अदर वेज टू इन साइड जस्ट इन फाइंड इट ओ दैट्स द फनी गाय No 
problemă. I appear to be in something of a bind. This is a little too visceral for me. Jimmy, I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny. What? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry. You're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Are you still here for any reason? Leave it to me now, sport. I have more adventure and hijinks to procure. इसको लगता है ये खून नहीं दिख रहा है। Ah, the dark and brooding savage. Unbridled aggression. I appreciate your help, sir, but now I must continue on this path of discovery alone. I am in a good recovery around the gun. Can't I get a good at your office? I get out. Before going to our go for the Irish's mission, let's go here. कितने फ्लावर्स आते हैं कि नहीं Hundred percent in Nigel West, I'm sure. 
na murang bets na kagots na fanda na kala kaysa ka man na ito यहाँ पे एनिमेशन दिखा सकता हूँ वहाँ पे दिखाता हूँ जहाँ पे नहीं दिखा सकता हूँ वहाँ पे डायरेक्ट पेल्ट ऑफ स्किन दे देता हूँ Okay, I will rent here. Then I will save the game here. Go rent the rakta. Sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <gasps> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. 
a selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round, my friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. A medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of scientific research. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurological, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, right. clumsy... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get this thing back! It looks like we've been stubborn. Let's get out of here. All right, you ride shotgun. For great sake, get out of the damn wagon. St. Homobonus is not looking down on you favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No, the poppycock. Those increases were clearly informed of my refund policy. You could only shit on people for so long before they decided it's their turn to pull down the pay. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robin banks felt more honest than this.
job. There's quite a second up ahead. My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Let's meet the funny man. I know it's uh what it it's fun.
Granny spotted. Yeah. Meet the funny man and then uh, we'll end the video there. Uh, nearby. Uh, anywhere where I can get the save. Come on! Why is this guy always somewhere? true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right.
क्या हो रहा है यार एक मिशन में दूसरे मिशन कैसे घुस जा रहा है उसको बचाने आ रहा Is that the closest? Mm. Yeah, it's on more flowers for a lady. Okay, let's go to the uh, McFarlane's. Then we'll shit. This path is. No 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 no. I will go here. Hundred percent I will go down like that. It's already over one hour. Nine minutes. I can only rest like two 
three minutes here. for watching stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe i'll be back with more exciting videos like uh, i will also be uploading uh, indiana jones and the great circle every day probably so uh, bye for now see you guys soon have a good day take care